This is a Dr. Bill Quarter, and with this presentation, I would like to address one question. Is your receipt toxic? And specifically, is your receipt that you receive at the restaurant or the grocery store, etc., is it toxic to your health? Now, all of us, I think, are well aware of the increasing toxins. We're aware of the increasing toxins in the air, in the pollution. We're aware of the toxins that are in increasing amounts in our meat and dairy products and in our foods in general. We're aware of the toxins that are in the tap water for most urban settings. But too many of us are not aware of the multitude of toxins that are in our daily lives that escape our attention. And one of the small little items that I wanted to address just to highlight this issue is the receipt that each of us receives at the grocery store or the restaurant, etc. And let me give an analogy um, or the flip side of the coin. A number of videos ago, I discussed the advantage of touching the earth. Uh, and that's with your feet or with your hands. And the reason being is that when you touch the earth, you absorb electrons. Those electrons flow into your body. What they do is they neutralize free radicals. And free radicals are products that cause inflammation. So the more you touch the earth, the more free radicals are diminished, the more inflammation is diminished, and the better your health. Well, receipts and toxins are just the reverse. The more you touch them, the worse your health. Specifically, I want to address with receipts PBA. Now, I think many of you have probably heard, and I'll skip the fancy chemical word, it's insignificant, but many of you have heard PBA as being in plastic and being in specifically um, plastic bottles. That's why there's a recommendation not to drink water in plastic bottles. When you take it to your car and it sits in your car and the water temperature rises, that PBA sinks into the water and it is carcinogenic. So you are drinking in a toxin that is known to cause uh, cancer. Well, those receipts that we get from stores guess what? They're lined with PBA. PBA is a little plastic coating, and what it does for receipts, it allows those receipts to still be pliable, but to be more durable. And I think they've done a recent study, and over 40% of all receipts, and that's from grocery stores, that's from retail stores, that's from um, restaurants, 40% and higher have PBA lining. The more you touch it, the more you absorb. And the more you touch it, the more PBA and toxin is into your system and the higher the chances and risks of getting and developing cancer. So here's my recommendation, and it's a very simple recommendation. Try to develop the habit of saying no to your receipt. Now, I know you love to look at the total cost and to figure out the total cost to make sure there's not any errors, but I'd recommend moving away from that habit. Um, fortunately, more and more restaurants, for example, are asking for your email address. Um, grocery stores often just slip the receipt into your grocery bag, but the idea is not to touch it. I mean, look what the average person does. They take the receipt, they'll stick it into their pocket or into their purse. Um, in there, the temperature rises, the PBA seeps, seeps out more. Um, and then when you come home, you take the receipt out of your pocket or your purse, you look at it, touch it some more, and then you often throw it away in the trash. But the multiple contact increases the absorption. So if you just develop the small habit of foregoing the receipt, you're going to move away from absorbing the PBA. And so what I am really pushing for is to shift our attention to some of these smaller toxins. And I'm using the receipt only as one example. In the future, as we go through this program, you'll find and learn about more toxins that you're not aware of 
that are influencing and impacting your health. And for all of us, I think, to get healthy, we need to establish balance in our life. We need to live life from the inside out and improve ourselves. But we also need to stop the number of toxins that are getting into our body and disrupting our body. And just to emphasize that point as we close, if you look at PBA, what it does is it disrupts your endocrine system. It, flows, it, it throws off, excuse me, it throws off the um, endocrine levels. That's especially important for women who have a cycle of varying endocrine levels. But when that system is off, your immunity goes down. And when your immunity goes down, your chances of cancer go up. So all these little items, as small as they are, again, can lead to a significant advantage. So let's learn together. Uh, I have articles on my website. There's articles on the internet. Um, subscribe if you can. But let's learn together, educate each other, and let's together get in better health across the board. Thank you for listening. With this presentation, there is no receipt. It's free. We're good to go. Thank you.